Hunnick with WoodturningReviews.com, where I review wood turning books, wood turning videos, wood turning magazines, wood turning tools, and anything else I can find that's related to wood turning. This review is of a book entitled Classic Wood Turning Projects with Bonnie Klein 12 Skill Building Designs. The author is Bonnie Klein, publisher is Fox Chapel Publishing. This is a soft cover book with 68 pages and a cost of $14.95. This book starts with a short bio of Bonnie Klein and then a short foreword by Mary Lacer, then the table of contents and an introduction, and then the book starts with a wood turning basics, jumps right into the 12 skill building projects covered, and a source list on the last page. The projects are an acorn box, a carrot pin, sunburst earrings, spiral chatter eggs, a letter opener, a stir fry spatula, a spin top, a tool handle, a whistle, a yo-yo, a honey dipper, and a purse mirror. In Wood Turning Basics, Bonnie shows the shapes of the tools she uses by showing wooden models much larger than life size that she uses in demonstrations and workshops as aids describing the tool shape, a cutting technique, or when discussing the bevel. Next, in Wood Turning Basics, is glue block preparation, which covers using double face tape or pressure sensitive tape to attach the glue block to a face plate. Truing up the sides and flattening the face of the glue block and gluing the wood to be turned to the glue block. Next is burned lines. This shows how to use burned lines as a simple detail that can be used to set off chatter work or to accent colored areas. Then on to chatter work, a texture created on your workpiece when either the tool moves or the wood moves, making a repeated chip pattern on a spiral or a spiral bump pattern using a chatter tool. This section explains how to use the chatter tool to make chatter work on face grain and on side grain. In the finishing section of Wood Turning Basics, Ms. Klein talks about sanding your projects, shellac, waxes, and buffing. Shop aids is next. Here Ms. Klein shows and describes how to make a depth gauge, a sanding disc using MDF and a face plate, bandsaw V-blocks covered with an anti-slip material. The final section in Wood Turning Basics is a list of 17 safety tips. Then it's on to the 12 skill building projects. Each project has a brief comment about the project, a material list, along with a list of tools and supplies needed to complete the project. Each project also has a number of pictures showing how to do each step needed to complete each project. The last page of this book is a source list of suppliers for wood turning, wood turning organizations, and miscellaneous suppliers, and a list of some other wood turning books from the publisher of this book. Okay, final thoughts. This is a book I've looked at many times but never bought, but after getting it, I'm wondering why I didn't get it sooner. I'm thinking this is a book that should come with every new lathe. Because all the projects in this book are either made using a face plate and a glue block or turned between centers, it is the perfect book for anyone who has just bought a lathe and wants to get started turning before spending the money on a chuck and extra jaws for that chuck. This book is also a very good book for the experienced turner that would like some new ideas for turning some useful items. I had a bunch of fun making the projects in this book. I haven't made all the projects yet, but the ones I have made were a lot of fun. With the pictures and the description of what to do below each picture, made each project very quick and very simple and definitely a lot of fun. The section on chatter work really helped me a lot. I've had a chatter tool for quite some time, but never really had much luck using it. In this section, Ms. Klein shows where to place the tool and what speed to run the lathe. However, I still need a lot of practice with my chatter tool. I also like the use of the words 12 skill building designs. Ms. Klein shows how to make a project that once you've made that project, you are able to make the same project with your own design. 
I'll show some variations to some of the projects in this book. Okay, it's on the show and tell. As you can see, there are some spinning tops there that were made uh, out of the lessons from this book. And it also gave me some uh, lesson on chatter work. I don't know that we're really going to be able to see the chatter work that well. I think maybe we can. And the coloring. And you can see a bit of the chatter work on the bottom of that. That uh, came out pretty well, I think. And here's one that I didn't color. That the chatter work is not very visible on the top of it. But I think on the bottom, it's pretty visible. And uh, you can see what kind of patterns that you can come up with. As for my understanding on the chatter work, the patterns are never repeatable. So I made uh, some of the tops. I made this uh, this little box, the uh, acorn box. My proportions are not totally correct. However, you see the chatter work on the top and then the uh, little bit of chatter work on the uh, on the top and the sides. And we take that off. Uh, you could maybe store a little ring or some medicine or something in there. Um, Miss Klein used maple on everything, and uh, I tried using maple on the for the top and the uh, nut portion of this acorn. However, uh, my brown pin was dead, so uh, wasn't able to get that. Now this the carrot pin. That was a lot of fun to make. I've made a couple of those. Uh, seems like every time I make one, somebody wants it, so they have to run off with it, and I have to make another one. But this is a pin that's not made from a pin kit. Uh, this is a, a big pin insert. Uh, I was able to find a, uh, a 5 30 seconds drill bit that was 6 inches long, so I was able to use the whole insert from the big pin. This is a variation on that. It's a uh, supposed to be a baseball bat. Uh, this one I only had a three inch uh, drill bit so I had to cut the end of the big insert off. This this is the uh, spatula from the book. I thought that it was a little bit narrow and a little bit short so I made my own variation. I made it about an inch longer and uh, also made it a few inches wider, a couple inches wider. And then the fun project was the whistle. I don't know if you can see the chatter work on there or not, but this has the burned lines uh, and uh, this was a real fun project to make. I made my variation of, of the one that was on there. This one is pretty much just like the one that's in the book, as close as I could get. And this is, this is a variation on it. So all these projects in here, they're real neat projects. They're a lot of fun. Uh, you can learn a lot of different things from this, uh, from this book. This is uh, what I've made from the wood turning classic projects with Bonnie Klein. Had a lot of fun with this stuff and uh, I have a lot more fun coming up with it. Uh, so I'm Byron McClinic with woodturningreviews.com. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you've not visited the website, uh, please go there. www.woodturningreviews.com